Shalom, Israel. I'm going to start off, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Back with another lesson. I'll title this one um, uh, uh, America, um, the second Egypt. You know, this is uh, this is the second Egypt right here. You know, you know Moses and and our forefathers came out of the first Egypt. And the Lord is going to plague this place. And we know tomorrow is the Passover. You know. It, 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 this is a this is this is a serious uh solemn assembly, man. A, a, a holy day. You know, this this is this is um Lord willing, this could be the last. Passover right here. And we get out of this place, man. Call her Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. But we know, you know, this is the this is the second Egypt right here. And it's gonna be some it's gonna be some 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 terror that the Lord's going to bring on this place. Because we know in the first Egypt, you know, he sent those ten plagues, you know, turning the um Turning the water, you know, the river into into a blood. You know, it, it couldn't drink water. You know, with the frogs and the flies and the pestilence, you know, killing the animals, just complete plague. You know, and the last one was that was that that death angel. You know, you you want you want the you know. You want this death to pass over you, man, because that's all that's on the way to this place. Is death and destruction. There is no future here, man. You know, I was listening to Edomite earlier and, you know, they, 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 they you can tell it's like, you know, they, they, they're, they're hoping that something or, you know, it could, you know, this war and this, you know, the, 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 the chaos, the, you know, all the stuff that's going on that, you know, there's a, there's a, a, a little light at the, at the end of the tunnel. There's no light at the end of this tunnel. It's over here. It is over in this place, man. There, there is just pure terror that's coming to this place. And this is all through the power and the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's nothing good coming out of this place. This place, America, Babylon, the second Egypt is going to be turned into a complete desert. What he did to the first Egypt, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai did to the first Egypt, he's going to triple that in this uh, 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 second Egypt. So let's let's get to the uh, let's get to the scriptures. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy. You know this is this is uh, the night before the Passover, man. This is the mindset, and 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 and. and uh, you know, uh, as far as uh, where you should be at at this point, you should be totally out of this place, man, spiritually, because there's nothing left here, man. There's absolutely nothing left here. Everything is forced upon. They're trying to they're trying to make some way to make this to 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 make this place uh, good, you know. 
They're trying to make some way. Ain't nothing left here. So let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 28. At 64. And it reads. And Yahweh by Shai shall scatter thee among all people. From the one end of the earth even unto the other. You see that? And that's what and, and that's where we are. Israel is scattered everywhere, man. He said, he said, and Yahweh by Shemal Shai shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And from from Jerusalem all the way over here to the borders of uh, to the Americas. That's the that's one end of that's way on the other side of the world. We we've, we've been scattered, and then all through the islands and the uh, uh, um, the uh, um, you know the Ger the uh, uh, Germany's and uh, Poland and London and Asia and China all with Israel is scattered everywhere into all nations. And yeah, it, there's Israel that look like the other nations. I, Akim just posted uh, uh, earlier a picture of the football player uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, and his wife. His his daughter looks like an Edomite, but she's not. <laughs> she's not. She she's she's <laughs> that's a, that's a so called Negro right there. Just for an example. So we've been pushed into all the Lord's telling you. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. That's why you go into these churches you have these different holidays. You got you got some uh, 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 Israel and everything. A Muslim, a, 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 a Kemetic, um, you know, a Catholic, a Mormon. You know, they got all these different you know false gods, man. All of them, and that's why he's saying you'll be scattered to. Um, and there shall serve other gods. And that's what's, that's what's been going on. Serving other gods. You got Issachar and uh, down there that, that, that northern tribe. You know, they, they uh, uh, worship that Guadalupe, man. It's just a, a, a stone with the lady, you know, and uh, holding, you know, uh, uh, what, you know, the Guadalupe little statue. And then it says, we'll go to 68. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And Yahweh by Shemiah Shai shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Who was brought over? Who was brought over here? On ships. This is talking about here, America. There were no ships being brought in in the first Egypt. This is talking about here, back Sodom and Egypt, America. This is where all those, uh, um, you know, um, our forefathers came, and they on this side, uh, 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 the southern tribe, and met met over here. With the uh, northern tribe, and that, and that, what that, what is that? Sixteen, I think it's sixteen twenty. Quote me if I'm wrong. I think it's sixteen twenty when the slaves got over here, the, the the southern tribe. And Yahweh by Shemalashai shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold. And who was sold? 
when they were brought up, they have countless movies on this, man. All those uh, Negro slaves brought over here on ships, coming off the ships and being sold. You can watch that movie uh, 12 years. You can watch that movie Amistad. Roots. That's Israel, man. That's Israel being being brought over here from one side of the world into the into the America, into another side of the world, and being sold unto your enemies. And what did the enemies do? Esau, Edom, and Elam, and the rest of the in Moab and Ammon. What what did what did the enemies do to Israel? Number one on the hit list is Edom. Just totally castrated us, man. Gun us down in the street, then hung us and lynched us, raped all of our women. Right along with the other enemies too. With the other nations. And ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. No man can no man can save you, man. And we see that. You know, the Martin, like I said before in some of my videos, the Martin Luther Kings, the Malcolm X's, you know, all Black Panthers, all these different, you know, uh uh you know, people they they had the mindset, but they didn't it wasn't through the will of the, uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, it wasn't of the will of the Lord. They're trying to do it their way. You know, the Lord, the Lord brought Israel over here for uh, captivity and you got some of Israel trying to live it up over here. That's why nothing goes right, man. Nothing goes right. It just continued to get it, it, Israel continues as a nation to be on the bottom. We're never going to be on top over here, man. Never. Because that's the way the Lord set it up. But you, well, who do you got? You got dudes trying to come out like the Malcolm X's, the Martin Luther Kings, you know, and, and so and so on and so, so on. Other leaders that try to raise up Israel and the Lord just strike them down every time because it's not of the will of the Lord. Israel has to turn back from their wickedness and seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But all of Israel is not going to do that. The Lord is dealing with the remnant. So let's go over to uh, um, Revelation 11 and 8. Because this pure terror coming on this place, man. There's nothing, there's nothing left here, man. Revelation, Revelation 11 and 8. And it reads, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which... which spiritually, which spiritually, this place is spiritually what? Called Sodom in Egypt. And you can go uh, 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 to, uh, what is that? Uh, Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, you know, the Valley of Dry Bones, you know, and it'll tell you, and it, it goes precept upon precept. Line upon line, here a little, there a little. It's telling you. This place is spiritually, America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Because what do they do, man? They didn't took that, uh, uh, the Lord didn't put that rainbow in the sky to make a covenant that he wouldn't flood the earth no more. What did Esau do? Esau then took that rainbow and made it a flag and, and perverted it and, and blasphemed the Lord. And deals with homosexuals and trying to Esau and trying to mix uh, uh, homosexual homosexuality and and gays all in the word. You know they celebrate all these crazy holidays. You know all these holidays are are, are set up to uh, 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 to mock uh, uh, Israel, man. You know. They, they totally go against what the Lord says. This place is, is Sodom and Egypt. You got people being, uh, uh, you got men being women. You got women being men. They all manner of perversion. 
You know, you got crime and corruption. You know, uh, 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 you got the food is defiled. You know, they, I mean, it's just totally, man. It's to this place is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. This place got to go. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. They crucify him all day, man. They done lied and, and said the Lord was, uh, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Caesar Bozier. They didn't put up a face of Caesar Bozier and made him out to have blonde hair and blue eyes, you know, and blaspheme the angels with babies, with wings, white babies with wings, you know, uh, 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 lied about who the people is of the Bible. You got those 1948ers over there, over there perverting the land, the whole, the so-called holy land. I mean, please, man. This is just one big lie. They've, 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 they've crucified the Lord. Totally. Let's go to uh, Amos. Amos. Uh, let's go to Amos. Totally blaspheme the Lord, man. People don't know what the Lord looks like. You ask somebody this, oh, well, he might be Middle Eastern or, you know, he he's white. You know, they don't, they're just totally confused in God, man. No knowledge of the Lord. Just, just crucified him, man. Amos 4 and 10. And it reads, I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword and have taken away your horses. And I have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your, no, your, unto your nostrils. Yet have ye not returned unto me, Seth, Yahweh, by Shemel, and Shai. Right. You know, it's the Lord doing all this, man. You got all this chaos happening, man. You got World War III breaking out. You know, you got civil unrest starting to, you know, is brewing. You know, this place is going down socially, you know, militarily. You know, economically, you got gas prices all crazy. You know, I mean, the crime is up more than ever. The defunding of the police. Man can't get along with women. Women can't get along with men. You know, I mean, it, the, the kids are out of control. You know, I mean, it, 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 the Lord, this is the Lord. And this is ultimately to Jake, too. You two-thirds. Eleven, I have overthrown some of you as of as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And this place goes back. It, it just to, it tells you that in Revelation eight and eleven, and and, and uh, um and uh, uh and in Deuteronomy twenty eight, Sodom and Gomorrah, and ye were as a, as a firebrand plucked out of the burning, yet have ye not returned unto me, Seth, Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Right. Right. You're not going to turn to the Lord, man. You're not, you're not going to stop doing your wickedness. You're not going, you're not going to stop, uh, uh, selling drugs and, um, you know, robbing and gang banging. You're not going to stop doing that, man. You got transgender, you got, you got uh, Jake, you know, some, you got some, some of Jake trying to uh, uh, eat at the dinner table with Esau. You can't eat at the dinner, you can't eat at the table of your enemies, man. You can't do it. You know, you think turning to Esau, turning to Pharaoh, thinking he's going to save you. A lot of women too, uh, uh, Jake women, you know, they go, they go to Esau for help, man. They got these little checks and, you know, uh, different little, um, you know, benefits that they got. But he's going to take all that away. 
in just a minute here. So, you know, but Esau's wicked, man. This, this place is, is going to be destroyed. You want death to, 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 to pass over you, man, in this time. This is a very solemn assembly, uh, 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 assembly, man. A holy day, this Passover. You know, those who, who ain't in this Passover and, and, ain't, and ain't doing it, you know, to your best ability in, in, in seeking the Lord in truth and sincerity, Death is death. Death is gonna follow you, man. This is a very, this is a very, very serious uh, holy day, man. You know our forefathers. You know they were they 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 were that 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 night before Passover and that 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 day of Passover, getting ready to leave out of Egypt. You got to understand out of all the hard bondage that they you know that they went through. You know, dealing with Pharaoh. You know, they're in captivity for a long time, man. And then we come to the second Egypt and we just did, we, it was same thing, been just castrated, man. Then they, they didn't tore us up through the slave, coming off that slave ship, through the slavery. To come into this second in Egypt. Hang us, lynch us, burn us up. You know, put us in a corner. You can't get on the bus. You can't get come in a restaurant. You know, going back to the 13th amended, Amendment. But that don't mean nothing, man. We still, we're still in bondage. And in the end, the, the the end of this man's rulership, Esau Edom, is coming to an end. And the Lord is going to plague this place like never before, man. Because you have cannibalism coming to this place. You're gonna, you have cannibalism coming. I just did a video on that a couple videos ago. Cannibalism. You're gonna have people trying to eat each other, man. Because of the lack of food, the lack of water. You're going to have sedition amongst men. You're going to have civil unrest. Yeah, Esau versus Jacob, man. Yeah, that's coming. You're going to be, you got, got these uh, detention centers coming, these concentration camps, these blackouts, you know, natural disasters. The Lord's going to plague. He's going to tear this place to pieces. He told you this place is going to be a, a one big desert. There will be this place will never be inhabited ever again. And then ultimately with them ICBM missiles that are coming. So let's go. I'm going to close out with this. Um, wait, Salakia. So I think I got a couple more. Uh, try not to make this too long. Exodus 10 and 1, and it reads, And Yahweh by Shemalashai said unto Moses, go, unto, go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart, for I, Salakia, and go, and Yahweh by Shemalashai said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart, in the heart of his servants, that I might show these, show that I might show these my signs before him. You see that, and that's the same thing now uh, 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 with 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 the uh, with Amalek and the, these rulers and Joe Biden and them. They're they, you know they're the pharaohs, man. And the Lord is hardening in their heart because they ain't finna let uh, Israel go. They ain't finna free up nothing for us. Two, and that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy son and thy son's son 
You see that? And that thou may, mayest tell in the ears of thy son and of thy son's son what things I have wrought in Egypt and my signs which I have done among them that ye may know that how that ye may know how that I am the power, Yahweh the Lord. See? So he's going to do, he's going to plague this place and it'll be told throughout, throughout for the, for eternity, man, what the Lord has done to this place. He did it in the first Egypt. We're still talking about it. And in the second Egypt, he going to, is, is going to be forever told on, on who Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is, man. Fear. You're going to fear Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. You know, it's the same thing. If you, you get dropped in the middle of the ocean, uh, 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 with some sharks, you, you're scared. That ain't gonna have nothing on what you gonna fear the Lord, man, because He can destroy you uh, uh, spiritually and physically. You're going to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You're going to fear Him. Esau, Edom, and the other nations that you're gonna fear the Lord, man. And He, like He said, He He hardened Pharaoh's heart. That's the same thing he's doing now. Because all these different nations and uh, uh, America think they're going to stay on top. And the rest of these other nations, they think they got necks in power. They don't fear the Lord. So let's go over to. Uh, I'm going to close out with this. Um, Job. Job 18. We'll go Job 18 and 7. The steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down. You see that? Because you got you got um, you got America with NATO and the rest of these different uh, um, allies and stuff. They're going to come against it. They're going to come against this place. They, the world is going to come against America, man. It's on the way. Eight, for he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. Nine, the jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. Ten, the snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. You see that? The Lord got, he got this play, he got Esau in a trick bag, man. He got Esau and Amalek and he got they got they they are in a trick bag, man. He is setting this up beautifully. And this war thing ain't gonna stop, man. This war thing is not gonna stop. They may stop or get a little break or peace or something, but it's gonna be full out all out war soon. It's inevitable. Eleven, terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. Seventeen, close out with this. Oh, seventeen. We'll go seventeen and eighteen. Seventeen, his remembrance shall perish from the earth. That's what's going to, that's what's coming to Esau. The Lord said his remembrance shall perish from the earth. Why? Because all the wickedness that you've done. Wickedness. Countless murders, robbery, rape. You know, you, 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 you've done all manner of evil, man, and still doing it. His remembrance shall perish from the earth. And he shall have no name in the street. No name. 18. He shall be driven from the light into darkness and chased out of the world. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord said you're going to be chased out of the world, Esau. You know. This is the this is the second Egypt right here, 
and there's plagues coming like we've never seen before. Call Allah Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, you know, we're going to continue to keep um, seeking the Lord and, and, and doing thus said the Lord and, and, and prophesying and, and continue to uh, 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 mourn and, 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 do, and do thus said the Lord and celebrate his holy days in haste, you know, until he comes. Be patient and hasten until the Lord come and enduring because there's some tough times coming but may death pass over you you know celebrating this uh, Passover this is not a club uh, going to the club and hanging out and trying to have some drinks and party and listen to music that's none of that man there, there, is, some, there is death and destruction coming period party time is over Get your mind and your heart right and ultimately your spirit. You know? And, 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 and do thus said the Lord. So, you know, the spirit hopped on me. You know, um, hopefully you were edified. I don't want Rata Zah come back with another lesson, but I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, Shalom, Israel.